welcome to Simply Tutor, Adding Fractions. If you are here, you probably already know what a fraction is. I'm going to teach you how to add them together. There are two numbers that you need to know about in a fraction. Understanding these terms make it easier to explain the addition process. So come on, let's go. First number is called the numerator. This is the number above the line. The next number is the evil denominator. This is the number below the line. The denominator is the complicated one, always making things difficult for people like you and me. Come on, I'll show you. If the two fractions you are adding have the same denominator, then it's going to be easy. For example, if you're adding one-fourth and one-fourth together, it goes like this. Add the numerators together. One plus one is two, so the numerator in your answer will be two. The denominator's process is different. Because both of our denominators are the same number, this will be no problem at all. Both of our denominators are 4, so we can just carry it over to our answer. The denominator in your answer will be 4, leaving you with an answer of 2 fourths. Too easy. When adding fractions, just remember this. Numerator plus numerator, and bring the common denominator over. Okay, here's the problem. If you're adding 1 fourth and 1 eighth together, you'll notice that the denominators are different. Somehow we need to make the denominators the same, or common. Here's how we do that. We can change the denominator in 1 fourth from a 4 to an 8 by multiplying it by 2. But because we multiplied the denominator by 2, we have to do the same for the numerator. That gives us a whole new set of numbers. Now we are adding 2 eighths and 1 eighth together. And we already know how to do that. Remember, numerator plus numerator and bring the denominator over. Your answer will simply be 3 eighths. Now you may be thinking that it will get more difficult as the numbers get bigger, but it doesn't. The process is still the same. Whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator. We've learned how to add fractions with a common denominator, and how to make two fractions without a common denominator, well, common. That's adding fractions in a nutshell. If you got it, then you don't need to watch anymore. But if you need another example, keep watching. Let's take 1 16th and add it to 1 3rd. Obviously, the denominators are not common, so we are going to make both of their denominators 48. To do this, we have to multiply 16 by 3. Whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator. Therefore, we have to multiply the 1 by 3. That gives us 3 48 In the fraction 1 third, if we want the denominator to be 48, we have to multiply by 16. So now we have to multiply the numerator by 16. That gives us 16 48 Wow, our whole problem has changed. Now we have 3 48 plus 16 48 Remember, numerator plus numerator, and bring the common denominator over, which gives us an answer of 19 48 So now adding fractions should be a breeze, as long as you remember, numerator plus numerator, and bring the common denominator over. See you next time on Simply Tutor, and don't let that evil denominator intimidate you.